My name is Angelo Bacchi. I'm the creative director of Awake New York. And today I present to you The Collective on behalf of ASICS. I'll let my partners introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Jess Gonzalez, and I co-own Procell here in New York City. Sponto from Los Angeles by way of Venice, and I'm the creator and founder of Born and Raised. Hi, my name is Tremaine Emery. I'm from Jamaica, Queens, live in LA. And I um, created um, Denim Tears and co-created no Vacancy, no Vacancy Inn, and um, I do art direction at large for Stussy and uh, make art. Can you tell us what it means to be a part of this collective? Your family. It's just dope to do something with people that I genuinely respect. That's the best part, you know? It's right. like a dream I never knew I had, that I'd be able to work with my peers and my friends and mentors. It's great. We've been in the streets for a long time together, and I think one of the greatest things a friend can do for another friend is say, hey, like I'm doing something and I want you to be a part of it. It's all about respect and love and I'm really proud to sit at this table with you guys. In our own ways, we're all trying to make change for better. Our voices, our storytelling, yeah. everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. It's an honor and a pleasure to do this work with you guys. Not many people know that ASICS is an acronym, it's a Latin acronym for anima sana in corpo sano, which means it's Latin for sound mind and a sound body. My body does not work unless my mind is working properly. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't matter if I'm doing 100 push-ups a day, I'm doing, you know, the burpee challenge or any of that stuff. Like, yeah. like if my mind ain't right, yeah. no, nothing is not working. So for me, it's truly the way I try to live my life today. You know, for, for me, what I, what I care and nurture the most is, is my mind. How do you feel that applies to you, a sound mind and sound body? Sound mind, sound body for me is learning when to like say no to things or when to walk away from something. Safe boundaries, not working 24 seven. These are all things that I'm still very much a work in progress on. But I think as I get a little older, you realize you can't just like run till empty. It's important to take breaks to let your mind reset and like reassess the situation. So for me, that is like the number one thing that I'm working on is like how to not be a workaholic and realize that it's nice to have a balance. I think we get locked into like a mindset of like if I fail, then everybody fails. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, like I, a lot of people have the luxury of like, oh, I can start a brand if I fall flat on my face. I can get up tomorrow. It's not going to really affect me or my grandparents. You can just walk away and be and like, it's fine, but, uh, you know, there's some people who don't have the luxury to do that. So it kind of gets us into this like fight or flight mode. And we just go, 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 yeah. go, go. And we don't think about it. And you got to like stop and, and um, realize what you're doing it for. You know, you're doing it for them too. So, yeah. you know, it's a balance like anything. Yeah. What I appreciate the most about everyone here is just how passionate they are about their work. You know, like we, we all do similar work, but we don't do the same work. When it was time for me to like work on the Kayano 14, to like do something on my own, mm -hmm. for me to like bring my roots, you know, growing up Ecuadorian and Queens in the 80s and 90s, being Ecuadorian in New York City was not, I mean, it's still, people still don't understand what, where Ecuador is or what the flag looks like. So representation is, mm. is a big part of, of my story and the work that I do. The bigger narrative for me is also community. You know, community's been, kind of like a hot topic word and no one's really doing the work. I love and I appreciate everyone that's sitting at this table. Everyone in their own way has been giving back and has been you know, really kind of rolling, rolling up their sleeves and doing the work, creating and building their own community. Yeah. Like everybody throws the word culture around, like constantly culture this, culture there, for the culture, you know, or the word community. And it's just like, I feel like when we started, all of us here, that wasn't even a thing. I, didn't, I wasn't chasing after that. It's just who we are naturally, right? Exactly. I want to look out for my community, exactly. look out for my people, look out for like little versions of me, or, you know, little versions of us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I think that's why I started, just I just wanted to help. That's what community is. It's not waiting for something bad to happen on TV and then you do something reactionary. It's consistently doing something for your community because you're in a community. Exactly. If you're in a position of power or you have an opportunity to pass that back to someone who's maybe just coming up or someone who's younger than you or someone who looks like you and you know that they're going to maybe have to try and jump through a little bit more hoops than someone else, that's part of owning a business and you shouldn't have to think about that. That's just like part of what we do. Yeah, and Angelo's a perfect example of the long run community person because over almost 12 years now, 2010, when I was having my going away party moving to London, you're like, I got, a, I, got, I'm, I got something for you. And you brought Shaniqua and you was like, yo, we connected us and you're like, she's gonna take care of you in London. Denim Tears and 
no vacancy and all the things I've done wouldn't exist without people like you always checking in and being there for me. And I know you've done that for a lot of people. I know all y'all have do that and that's what it really really about. How does it feel to to make your own silhouette, your own shoe with your your name on it? It's not, you know, a no vacancy in project or yeah. you know, that's a part of a, a bigger company. Me doing this thing is purely it's my literally my my story and my family story. When you do something siloed, you can just literally go into whatever the inspiration is, just tell them whatever story I want unhinged. So my shoe is just based on um, Harlem, Georgia. Georgia, but Harlem, Georgia specifically, which is a uh, small one red light town. Both my parents grew up there. My dad, he moved the family, and I grew up in New York. I grew up in Queens. But every summer, he didn't want me just to grow up as a city, as a city kid. He sent us to Georgia from when school let out. So I'd be in Georgia from June to August in this one red light town. So going from New York to Georgia, and on a surface level, my shoes would go from the color they were to what the shoes looked like, dusty with the, the red clay. My grandfather, he was a brick mason. Those roads, they're paved now, but they were just all red clay. So it was just a visual, something burned into my mind. My family's funeral plot, it's a red clay. Mm -hmm. it, everyone gets buried in red clay. So in my mind, it's like, I come from that and I'm going back to that. So anytime I go visit my mom's, um, my mom's grave site, her headstone is, 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 um, is coming out of red clay. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I saw the shoe, I just wanted to paint it that way. If that makes any sense. That was beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. I want to give you a hug right now. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, you struck a nerve, man. You're tug you tugging my heartstrings right now. No doubt. Yeah. Jess? For me, the inspiration behind my shoe comes from kind of the ASICS idea of like sound mind, sound body. And I really wanted to think about what is a sanctuary for me. And it's always been the ocean and yeah. water. And so I thought of like pearls. So my mm. whole shoe is based around um, pearl. And I come from a family of like sailors. So water is kind of like in my veins. My nameplate says Brava, it's the island my great grandfather's from in Cape Verde. And I just really wanted to pay homage to like all the joy and also peace that like the ocean and swimming and summer and all those things have like brought me over the years. By the way, you're not off the hook, Smart. Well, I feel bad yeah. now because I just made my shoe about a swap meet. <laughs> <laughs> my shoe was inspired by. Uh, in Venice, we had a place called the Fox Indoor, the Fox Swap Meet. The architecture of the building is an old theater, you know, and it's like, it's this really weird aquamarine color. It sticks out like a sore thumb, but every Venetian, everybody who grows up in Venice grows up shopping at this Swap Meet. I think it's gonna go away pretty soon, which kind of like breaks my heart. Like, Born and Raised is just a love letter to the city that I once knew that's gone now, you know? So I wanted to make a shoe that's kind of gonna encapsulate that whole vibe and story of the, the Fox Swap Meet. What it really boils down to me is a representation, the right representation. And, you know, this isn't uh, something that's transactional. Yeah. It, it's really, I'm here to support a 16 year old version of us yeah. that looks like us, yeah. most importantly. Thank you. Well, thank no. you from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. Thank you. Uh, you thank too, you for man. taking time off, Spamton. Thank you for coming to New York. My pleasure. Thank you, ASICS. Thank you, Strand, for hosting us. Thank you, Just. Thank you, Tremaine. All right, later, y'all.